Red Shark NAB 23 coverage is sponsored by Hi, this is Paul from Atomist, NAB 2023. I'm going to give you a whistle-stop tour of the NAB booth here at Atomist with all the exciting things we've got launched. So basically, we've got our connected products, and now it's just insane of what you can do with those Atomist connected products. The Ninja 5, the Ninja 5 Plus, with the Connect uh, module on the back, and the Shogun Connect, and even the Zato Connect. So there's three connected products can now, using Atomist Cloud Studio, connect to many, many different things. So we've got here on this part of the station is camera to cloud. So this is when we connect to Adobe camera to cloud powered by Frame.io. We've got the Ninja here. We've got demos going on over there with the Shogun Connect, how you can take content directly from the cameras, uh, send the proxy directly up into Frame.io, appear on the timeline and start editing whilst you're recording the local files, the high res file and the proxy on the SSDs. So if we whiz around here, we come around here. Hey, JP. Hey. The other exciting new thing for NAB, we've got an integration with Sony CI Media for Capture to Cloud. So that's another alternative platform for our users. We come around here with Phil. Hey, Phil. Oh, hey. Phil's gearing up for some live demos for live production, Atomos Cloud Studio live production. So we're using the same connected products, but now in a completely different way. So using Atomos Cloud Studio as the gateway, we can now use those products as a live input to a live show all running in the cloud. So a full production suite running in the cloud. And the, suddenly the Atomos device, you can see one over there, the Shogun Connect and the Ninja, they're two camera feeds coming in to a live show with fully featured outside broadcast facilities. Video, audio, mixer, panel, tally, intercom, everything is in there now. So you've got a completely different use case for our products using the same hardware. If we move on around, cheers, Phil. Oh, he's got an iPhone. We've got now an Atomos Pro camera app running on an iPhone, which can also be an alternative video source into a live production. Phil's been busy knocking out demos literally all day. Cheers, Phil. So around this side, we've got a brand new feature for Atomos Cloud Studio called Atomos Cloud Edit. Again, using the same hardware here we have uh, a Zato Connect on your favorite mirrorless camera or any SDI or HDMI camera. But this time, the content is going directly from that camera. You're recording locally, but also it's going directly up into Atomos Cloud Edit. So you can immediately, just like Shaki's doing, you can immediately start editing on the timeline of a web-based edit system purely collaborative. It's, it's on a web browser. Anyone in the world could be sharing that project and editing with it. And you can publish direct. You can, you know, top and tail clip, add transitions, graphics, titles, and then quickly publish that on direct to YouTube or Vimeo, or even export it as an XML to, to your favorite NLE, whether it's Final Cut, Premiere, whatever. Let me just, uh, and you can see Shaki's just literally doing a demo showing how we're getting that content directly on a timeline. Hey, Shaki. Hey. Here we go. How's it going, man? So he's literally demoing now that in real time, how this content can just go direct from camera straight into Atomos Cloud Edit. Hey everyone, I'm Shaki, by the way, from Atomos. Uh, what we got over here is the Atomos Cloud Studio, where you can basically bring content directly from the camera into your edit suite using a Connect product, right? So we've got the Shogun Connect, the Atomos Connect, and the Zato Connect. And over here, you can see we've got the Zato Connect connected to a Fuji camera over here and it's connected to the cloud using um, Wi-Fi, right? Or you can either connect it using the ethernet connection. So if I was to hit record over here, okay? And I hit stop, and you can see immediately over here, that turns into a green arrow that goes up, up to the cloud, okay? So while that's all doing that, let's just jump over real quickly onto the Atomos edit, edit platform, right? So this is a completely cloud-based editing platform. As you can see, I've just logged in using a browser, any browser. So you just go to app.atomosedit.com. And like any other editing software, it's a very simplified, easy to use, um, intuitive program, right? I've set up my project file over here. I've got my events, you know, I can bring in my audio. So it's not just limited to you bringing in content from a camera. You can actually drag and drop 
content into this project that's like B-roll footage you've shot from another day, another camera, or even online footage. So, if I go into my logos over here, you can see I've got transparency logos over here that I can like literally drag and drop them with alpha channels, right? So I can just drag that, bring it over here, and if I bring my cursor up over there, I can adjust that, you know, it's pretty intuitive. Okay, now that's kind of like the timeline. I've put, you know, a couple of things together. It's very, very easy to use. You know, I can put like lower thirds, put the text in there. Great for assembly cutting and rough cutting. And if, you, if you've got a job that demands, you know, immediate delivery, I think this is kind of like the way to go because you're shooting out there on the field and your content will be loaded up in the cloud you edit within the cloud and you can deliver it from the cloud without having to bring it down, right? So remember a few, few seconds ago, we shot that footage right up over there. So if I was to jump on my NAB 2023, you can see that footage. Give it, give it a sec. I'm just gonna jump back and forth. All right, that was the footage. And I can just drag and drop that. And it's in there. Give it a few seconds to media load. And that was that clip we just shot a few seconds ago, right? And from here, there's a couple of ways to go about it. Now, once you're, once, you're, once you're happy with the edit, right? You can lock that edit, okay? Or you can basically, basically I can hit lock that edit and I can share that as an EDL or an XML. So if I was to do an XML, you can bring this project into Premiere, Avid, Final Cut and basically relink the master files and you can finesse that edit even way more further, all right? Or you can even publish that video straight to a social media platform like YouTube, TikTok or Instagram, right? You can also, just like any other collaboration tool, you can also like leave comments in there and ask people to change. So you can be like, hey, can you change this for another shot please right and I can leave that comment in there right and and I can literally share this link with other collaborators and they can start logging in their comments so I'll get notified about it and I can make those changes immediately so collaboration's key and I think this is like an incredible testament to like how collaboration can be done remotely from anywhere from you know, the comfort of using a web browser. You don't even have to download softwares. You don't have to download files anymore. And it's just there on your browser. Thank you. I think 